welcome back to my channel so today this tutorial is going to be on these glitter lips and this neutral eye look and it is a collab with the beautiful queenie rosenblatt i love this girl so much she's so down to earth and just beautiful and so talented you guys have to be sure to check out her look and subscribe to her channel as well so let's go ahead and get started so i'm going to be starting out with my brows first and i'm using the anastasia brow wheels brow wheels brow wiz pencil in the color dark brown so i'm just outlining my brow first and then i'm going to be filling it in very lightly um just to kind of give my brows a little bit of form because i need them done <laughs> so now i'm taking some nars cream radiant concealer in the shade biscuit with this uh shiny cosmetics brush that i got off of amazon some years ago and i'm just going to be carving out underneath my um eyebrow i don't do the top because i feel like it for me that's a little too dramatic so i just do the bottom just to kind of clean it up and then i'm taking this real technique sponge to just kind of blend everything out so now i know i always do my eyes first but i was in the mood to do foundation first i, I don't know I, yeah, I, I don't know <laughs> but i am taking my tart um rainforest foundation in the color deep honey and i'm using my sigma f80 kabuki brush to put that on my face and then i'm going to be mixing two concealers y'all know how i do i'm using the becca concealer and then i'm using the nars um creamy rating concealer in the shade biscuit and the becca concealer is in the shade warm honey so i found that i do like this highlighting method a lot um it just kind of brightened me up, man. You know, I wasn't into the highlighting at first, but now I love it because I see, you know, it gives that dimension to the face and it just brightens you up and just makes you just look so flawless. So now I'm blending all this out with a real technique sponge. This sponge, I got it from Walgreens and it was like $6.99. To me, it is just like the beauty blender. Um, I feel like it's better. That's just my opinion. So now I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder in the um the yellow one i have to specify that because the white one has flashback so now i'm just setting all the areas that i um highlighted and then i'm going to be setting my face with the dark mineralized powder but my camera cut off so you guys did not get to see that special part so now i'm just taking the anastasia beverly hills contour kit in the shades cinnamon and copper brown and this brush is from becca um it's like an angled brush and i'm just taking that and just contouring my cheekbones forehead down the bridge of my nose and yeah so then taking this over cosmetics rodeo drive highlighter with my morphe fan brush and i'm like oh yeah look at that highlight <laughs> so i'm just going to be highlighting my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose um and then once I get my eyeshadow and stuff on, I'll be taking that same highlighter and highlighting underneath my brow bone. Um, this highlighter is so pretty. So then taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mario palette and taking the shade Isabel and putting that in my crease. Now I only use two eyeshadows for this eye look, y'all. So then I'm taking Fifth Ave and popping that onto my lid. And then that those are the only shadows that I use for this look today. Like I have been in just this mood where i'm like i just want to just figure out quick and easy ways to look beautiful so taking my mink wink um lashes in the style mademoiselle popping them on off camera and then taking a black eyeliner and just putting in my waterline and then taking the isabel shade from that palette and just going underneath my eyes dang i kind of went a little fast <laughs> so now taking the um oh and then i put on mascara on my bottom lashes so then taking the chestnut lip pencil from mac and outlining my lips and then i'm going to be going in with the brooklyn um liquid lipstick from ofra and it's a brown um just a dark brown uh lip color and then going in with the gold glitter from mac and just taking a flat brush and putting that over top of the liquid lipstick now you want to do this kind of quick because once the liquid lipstick dries it's kind of hard for the glitter to stick but when you do it while it's still wet the glitter sticks perfect and this lip lasts all day i got so many compliments on my makeup 
look at me feeling it <laughs> i got so many compliments on this lip everybody's like oh my god what lipstick do you have and it's so pretty and it was beautiful so it's like the perfect holiday look so that's it guys make sure you check out queenie's tutorial because she has a video on her glitter lips i love you all so much thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye